All right, welcome everyone to some Ogre Scale video number two. We're supposed to do some Skullgirls today, but unfortunately my friend is going out for a birthday party. So happy birthday to that guy's friend. Um, so there you go. Uh, our character is disgustingly good, but that means that we're going to die at some point. Um, <laughs> whoops, that's not what I wanted. Do I have caps lock on? I absolutely do. I was like, what the hell? I somehow managed to take my thing off. Um, yeah, this is Dungeon Crawl I Can't Say Shit Edition. I don't know why everything's so dark still. It's really, really disturbing, and I'm not sure if that's intentional. Like, I I actually am not sure why the game is so fucking dark. It, it really should not be that, that bad. Um, like, I could actually check by going on Demise 101 or something and switching over and, like, trying a game of Trunk and seeing that, that works. Or playing a game of Offline and figuring it out, but... I'm too lazy, but yeah, I did confirm it by looking at an older video for a little longer than like 10 seconds. And yeah, it definitely is much, much, much more bright in other games. So I don't know why the game is so fucking overblown right now. It's not... I don't really know what's going on. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. We fucked up so hard. Oh god. <laughs> uh, so I, I was trying to summon a lesser demon there. I accidentally summoned a greater one. A greater one. And because of our low... Uh, invocations. It has a 34% chance of being hostile. Uh, so basically, don't do that until you have enough invocations to make it good. I didn't train specifically for those... Uh, I didn't train for Greater Servant yet, because I find it to be... Like, it's better to just spam Lezard Destruction... Oh, uh, sorry, Lezard Servants like that. Um, the health cost is pretty good anyway. Like, if I, if I summon three Servants, it's pretty much the same or better than a regular Greater Servant. There's no chance of me getting it uh, hostile. And I also get, like, more dudes to cover the screen if I need to. So it's just a more it's more efficient, I would say, uh, to not train charms at this stage in the game and then get it later on. I will eventually be able to get greater, greater demons at 1% fail. 1% uh, hostile, sorry. You always do summon a, a servant, but whether it's friendly or not depends on invocations. Um, probably going to upgrade this troll other armor, because it's pretty likely that I'll be doing it for a while. Do I have... I don't have uh, Swamp this game, yeah, so this is almost certainly the right choice for me to go to this troll other armor. There's almost no chance of me going... Oh, fuck, Acid Dragon Scales, didn't think about that. Is that better or worse? Hmm. So, <coughs> uh, this troll other armor is at 4 and 4, this thing is at 6 and 5. So it gives me slightly more AC, which is not bad, but I don't know if Arc Road is worth my time. I don't, like, regen is really good for troll leather, leather armor, and lower encumbrance is technically a good thing for this character anyway, so possibly not, I don't know. I picked up a Book of Earth, or Book of Geomancy, sorry, which means that we could technically go all the way up to Iron Shot, but I think that's unnecessary for this character, who will be pretty much using this Glaive of Protection for most of the game anyway. Um, I think Charms is fine, Train. Actually, you know, that's really decent already. Spectral Weapon on 4% fail is better than I could already expect anyway. So I guess I'm going to go train more invocations. Again, get that McLeod piety up. Alright, this is an unfortunate vault. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and miss that. <laughs> miss me with that gay shit. Like, that, that's a circle. And that's a very, uh... That's not, that's, that's very sexually misleading. Or, is it, is it misleading? No. I don't know how to say innuendo, and it doesn't, it doesn't really make any sense. But I will have to run away from that vault with the third downstairs, and then just handle it from over here. I'm gonna buff up, because I know that uh, Uruk is over there. Take a free and easy kill. I could theoretically train throwing at 0% and use those javelins and large rocks. I mean, ogres are one of the two races that can throw large rocks, the other one being troll. So it technically isn't a horrible idea, because large rocks are pretty good. But I think that's too much of a EXP investment. As a scout, you kind of want to only pick up stuff that's pretty cheap, other than your main source of damage, which is your weapon usually. Uh, if you do want to go into like more expensive things, you'll usually use a one-handed weapon, or something that's fairly cheap to use, like a larger tank, and that'll help you kind of get more EXP to distribute amongst your other things that you want to... Uh, it pursue. So like, with a with a character that's going for Glaive or Bardish, like I am, 
at 0% aptitude, it's very unlikely that I'll be able to get much more in the rest of the game. Most likely, the best I'll get is, like, deflect missiles, I think. And perhaps, like, some kind of uh, fairly good translocation spell or something. Oh, wait, no, maybe Mana Vipers. That, 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 that might be what I get, like, as my highest investment thing that isn't my weapon or my defense. <coughs> um, again, we have a lot of int already. I think it's better for me to train dex. I don't know if I'm actually getting any benefit from it, so I probably will stop training dex now, but... Wow, that is fucking unlucky. Holy shit. Alright, so Roar of Battle and Wave of Frost and Teleport. So that's a really nice question of, well, which one do I prefer? Uh, the answer to that question is probably... Let's see. So I have already got RC. I think... Like, I'm just purely speculating here, because I've never actually had to make this decision immediately, but... I think Bailey is technically the best one in terms of ease, followed by Frost Cave, and I'm not going to do Labyrinth. I, I I know for a fact I'm not doing Labyrinth. Like even though I see it here, there's no point doing it. It's not good. Just because like it's so annoying. All right, there's actually so many allies on the screen right now that I can't spawn Spectral Weapon, which is fucking funny. Uh, that's fine though. Again, notice how two servants made that fight so easy. That's kind of the goal. Okay, so that's the Bailey over there. I think I want to do Bailey and then Frost Cave. Just because Bailey has a chance to give me Acquirement Scrolls, Enchant Armor Scrolls, Enchant Weapon Scrolls, and uh, Potions of EXP. Whereas the Ice Cave just gives, tends to give like a random selection of stuff. The best thing I can think of would be it giving a Demon Trident and uh, maybe Ice Dragon Scales, but I don't really know if that's reasonable for me to expect, so I'm just not going to do it. Alright, this is unfortunate. I'm just gonna have to run through this trial by fire here. I'm not taking any damage from these idiots, so I'm just gonna keep walking. Uh, this is a fairly easy place for me to be, because I have already kind of over-leveled this place. Yeah, this is actually... there's almost no loot here, that's fine. Amulet of Inv uh, Manual of Invocations is amazing though. I'm just gonna skip past everything here. And we're going to try very hard to get to this thing, if possible. Uh, punch through these idiots, and then... Just kind of jump in. Alright, awesome. So we managed to get two, and this is the Ice Devil Fortress. There's a Necromancer in the final area, and two statues of ice. We do have RC, so in theory this place is easy, but, you know, our character is a little squishy, so it might not be as easy as I say it is. Alright, let's just try to pop on over here. The nice thing about statues is they don't regen, so you can just kind of punch through them uh, over time. Even if you're a much weaker character than you, that shouldn't really be dealing with statues of ice, you can kind of just fight them and then fight them again and fight them again. You have the power of resting, which is broken. Alright, my one pip of RC makes, makes it so that I'm a lot, a lot less scared of the simulacrum. Uh, I will have to kind of all in on this statue here though, because they are just shitting on me. Ow! Alright, cool. Kill the ice devils in the side first. The main entrance is over here. I don't want to fight that though. I just want to leave it there. Okay, cool. Pop up over here, and heal up. The the troll other armor is just so amazing. Uh, okay, there's one more statue. It's fine though, I can probably just kill it. Hopefully, I don't alert the guy in there. Cool. Just a nice necro, nice and easy kill. Got a decent amount of loot here. Got a steaming hat. That's not very good though. Not as good as the other thing. Ah, uh, yeah, we missed the labyrinth. That's okay, though. Like, like I said, we got as much as we could, and that we honestly got not much at all. <laughs> but that's okay. It's not too bad. We missed a labyrinth. We got two out of three. I'm happy with that. The reason why I didn't go in labyrinth is because of the minotaur buffs. Well, like, this character is decent enough to handle the minotaur, but also the loot the loot nerfs to the, to the labyrinth is just stupid, so I didn't, I'm just gonna not do it anymore. Like, it's dumb that they buff the monster and then nerf the loot. That wasn't even that good anyway. Like, it was alright most of the time, but now it's, like, just garbage. And I know because, like, the last three or four times I've gone into Labyrinth, I've been just severely underwhelmed, and that's just disappointing to see. You never want to see that for a character like this. Okay, so our next thing on the list that we want to get is re uh, protection from poison damage. If we can do that, that'd be ideal. 
Alright, there's an invisible thing here, that's fine. I'll just swing in one direction and then just kill him, I guess. So if we get our poise, that's pretty good. Ooh, wait. Animate skeleton's really good. Okay, animate skeleton, apportation are just two very obvious things to get. Um, I'm just going to make the macro there to make it so that my animate skeleton is on C. And then if I want to butcher something, it's on Q, which is normally quiver, but I don't really care about quiver. Uh, apportation can go on L. I might train a bit of spell casting soon just to like kind of get those spell failures down a little bit more. I don't really care too much about the spell power of those spells, so much as... Well, actually, no, that's that's not correct. I actually do think that spell power is pretty good on the ant... Uh, on the... on apportation, since it makes it so that it pulls it towards you no matter what. Lo at low power, apportation is kind of garbage, actually. You have to use it, like, three or four times before it does anything. Which is kind of bad. Okay, just grab a bunch of stuff. All my good buffs. Just kind of sit here in this corridor. Like, my health is dropping a little bit, but it's not too bad. And I can just heal up because of McCleb. A lot of sustain here. It's really good. Okay, back off. There's a Phantasmal Warrior. Normally I'd be more afraid, but I don't know. This character feels very hard to kill. So, I don't know. For some reason, I just don't feel pain. I don't feel... I don't feel f afraid to fight. This guy's got a Glaive. That's actually interesting. Is that a glaive of, oh it's a dagger of electrocution i was like oh shit is that a glaive of electrocution that's pretty good there's aurora's ghost um that's a new guy i haven't seen him in a while or i haven't seen him at all a adept naga wizard of okawaru running no damage because it's only 22 damage and also orbit destruction interesting i don't know what the hell that guy was doing but i guess he was trying to go for a blaster caster plus melee weapon strat guess it didn't work out for him so, unlucky dude. I don't know, I don't really know if Naga Wizard of Okawara learning Orbit Destruction is a real thing, but, you know. I mean, I guess it didn't work. I was gonna say, like, if it works for you, but then, no, it doesn't work, because you died. It could have worked, probably, but he would have to be more melee, I'd say. Then, unless, unless, like, ghosts actually retain skills that they can't necessarily cast in the real game. That might be true, because I know Spellforge Servitors like that. No, actually, no, ghosts are like that. No, never mind. I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure as long as you have, like, an under 50% spell failure, you can do it or something. I don't remember. <sighs> okay. Protection from magic or int plus 4? Let's check out what int plus 4 does for our character. 4, 4, 10, and no spell hunger and anything. Oh, wait, no, that wasn't, that wasn't what we wanted. Nope. 7, 7, 13, and a bit of spell hunger. That's actually acceptable for this place. I need to get... MR, because on this floor particularly, Orc Sorcerers can paralyze you. So you kind of want to have a bit of MR if you can afford to. I wouldn't try too hard with it, like, I'd rather just summon, honestly, I'd rather just summon Servants and just be like, ah, oh, whatever, I don't care. But, you know, it's nice to have a bit of MR. I have been paralyzed to death here. Um, it has happened. Like, it's, it's not common, but it does happen. So you just gotta keep your eye out for it. Uh, I'm gonna actually check out what this thing is. The shield is just because I might eventually switch to one-handed. As weird as that sounds, it like it actually might be a thing, just because. Um, you know, I have no idea what the future will hold. Maybe I find a really good demon trident. You never know. All right, I'm just gonna throw acid here. Just try to kill a couple of these guys before teleporting out or something. Wait, how many teleport? I have nine teleports. I probably should teleport out if I need to, but it doesn't look like I need to. I'm actually quite strong here. See, like, this character is so strong that I'm actually able to kill stuff without having to run away, which is pretty rare for, uh, for Orc. Usually you are doing some kind of, like, pillar dancing or spl uh, pack splitting. It's normally not... You're normally not able to really handle this whole vault by yourself, like, from the start. Uh, so this character is really strong, despite being an ogre, which I find to be a fairly weak race. Uh, not, not weak because they're, like... They have, like, f fragility or anything, but more weak because they have... They have to reset fights, because the health isn't coming back all the time. Damn, that plus four helmet would be nice, but unfortunately we're a fat-ass ogre. We can't fit it in our stupid skull. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to just not have it. Uh, Book of Party Tricks, Book of Misfortune. Uh, Book of Callings. Um, oh, the Book of Minor Magic is here. Oh, wait, what the hell? Oh, we, we flipped to the wrong place. whoops a daisies Okay, well, while we're here, we might as well pick up. Uh, Book of Minor Magic, and also Book of Callings. 
Oh wait, no, Book of Summoning is probably better. Yeah, I'll pick up that. And I'll pick up Blink, which is going to be pretty good for us. Blink on 19% fail, that's fine. Eventually we'll get that down. And we'll probably train for Summon Mana Viper soon. Not too, not too hastily, but we'll do it eventually. Can I also, I can also afford the Book of Colons, sweet, I'll pick that up as well. Because I might be able to get Lightning Spire early, which is good. Oh, I completely wasted all that money before I even had a chance to really look at anything else. Bit hasty, damn it, ah, damn it. Alright, Scroll of Acquirement there, that sucks. That's okay though, that's not too bad. Like, we've, we haven't missed out on too much actually, only one Scroll of Acquirement, that's not awful. Uh, anything else that we might want? Book of Party Tricks. It's got Summon Butterfly, but that's not worth 700 gold. Uh, anything in this wing? No. The Lamp of Fire, maybe, but it's not super important, again. Like, I'm just, I'm putting things on the shopping list, but I have no intention to really buy them. <sighs> so, there's no R poise in this game. Um, meaning we have to just kind of go through the game without it, which is really going to be quite rough for this character. Uh, my shit defenses will just be torn apart in this place. So I'm hoping really, 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 really bad that I don't get instantly shit on. Uh, perhaps Blink is important enough that I should train some translocations. Possibly, yes. But what would I get rid of? Fighting is too good to get rid of. Plus three is really good. Invo? I mean, greater serve... I have a man I think dodging like honestly in, in honesty I haven't seen dodging really provide me with many things like I haven't seen many gains from me training dodging so maybe it's just not worth my time but yeah this is gonna happen like pretty much every fight I'm gonna be down to about 50 HP consistently just because I can't stop these guys from shredding through my HP and I have no R poise to keep me kind of alive damn I was really hoping that that would be the uh, the R poise that I was looking for, but unfortunately not. Enchant Armor, definitely going on the double Troll Other Armor. Give me a bit more AC. Anything that helps me, like, not get instantly killed is good. Enslavement's also nice here. Spider's got low MR, R poise minus. Uh, so if you enslave one spider, they'll probably kill another spider with them and then die to the poison that they suffer, uh, which is really good. So, you know. It's like bees. Bees are really bad at dealing with... Okay, this guy's fucking crazy. This guy's absolutely absurd. I've been confused for about 55 rounds here. What the fuck? Alright, I guess that's a real thing. Um, I might actually want to un-macro as well. Possibly. Hmm. Or maybe I just do shoals. I don't like doing shoals first, especially with no shield. So, maybe not. But I do have a pole arm, which is kind of good. I don't know. Maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe I just don't know what I'm talking about. Either way, this is going to be rough. This is going to be real rough. Ah, man. There's an Emperor Scorpion. Let's see if we can just kill him. If we can, that's a good sign. Alright, that was really good. We didn't take any damage. I think it's because we have so much defense. But, like, the Shroud and the Regen and the Infusion were all good. And the Special Weapon, obviously, carried that whole fight. Dealing more damage than anything else, pretty much. Uh... Just gotta keep my shroud and stuff up. Keep my spectral weapon up. Nice. What are the spells do we have? Song of Slaying. I really would never use Song of Slaying again. It's just too dangerous for me now. So I'm just not going to. Uh, identify. No. I actually wonder if it's worth it for me to actually go to this bar dish of electrocution. It might not be. I don't think I'll ever have enough AC that I'm comfortable just saying, ah, no, we don't need more AC. Though, maybe we find something incredible. Maybe. I don't know though. But I probably should enchant this weapon, this Glaive Protection, up. It's a very good brand for this character, specifically. It's not normally that good, but on this Ogre, it's incredible. So, you know, maybe. Maybe. Alright, eat that guy. I don't have to worry too much about Corpse Energy. I'm a melee character, after all. And all my spells are hungerless, which is really amazing. Other than summon Mana Viper, but we're not using that at all, because it's not castable at this point. Okay, cast all my buffs up, and then just kind of sit here. Pole Arms make this place a lot more bearable, because you don't have to keep bum-rushing through, like, hordes of spiders to kill all spiders. You can just kind of sit here and let them come to you. Just poke away at them. 
when they're not paying attention. Alright, uh, I want to definitely stay here. Recast. Oh my god. Oh my god, really? Fuck, man. This is so annoying. Okay, I got unconfused. I'm going to summon a demon here just to kind of take the brunt of the attacks. The Tarantellas are actually very dangerous for me. If I get confused while there's while I'm not in a choke hole, oh, like in a kill hole, I will be in a very bad spot. I'll have to immediately cure out. There's no chance that I can stay. Alright, I'm going to trade away 3 evade for my stuff. I'm actually going to also summon another demon. Um, and I'm going to try to keep a wall between me and Luis at all times. I don't want to be abyssed if possible, so I'm just going to try to stay away from her. A jeweled large shield. Hmm. That's a very tempting investment. That's really good. Holy shit, that's really good. Um, now, okay, so this the thing about the, the thing about shields with ogres is that because ogres are a large race, it only costs me 15 shields to get this to, like, nothing. Which is incredible, considering this is a really good shield. Plus 6 of R like R RF is really doable. I think if we find a reasonable demon trident, we're going to go for this thing. What that does mean for me, though, is that the large scales... Sorry, the Bardish is not an option anymore. It's not It's not a viable or reasonable option. I'm going to turn Polearms off at 20, cap out at Glaives, and at some point in the game, if I find a good Demon Trident, what I'll do is I'll switch to that, and I'll go one-handed instead. Um, considering I have a great path anyway with the shield, a reflection drop by Donald, I think it makes more sense for me to go for a shield-based strategy if I can. Shields are also a great way to circumvent the fact that Ogres have fuck all defense, uh, because it's a type of defense that Ogres are actually really good at. Um, Two-handed weapons are really not great for Ogres, uh, like in reality, because it just, they don't have enough defense to kind of stay alive long enough to do their damage. Even though they have a lot of health, like, as you can see here, it means nothing, you just instantly explode anyway, like it's not relevant. Which is why people that say, like, oh, you should use the Giant Spy Club because it's really good. Like, it's, it's not really that good, especially on an Ogre. Because it's so fucking hard for you to stay alive to do the damage. You'll end up, like, getting yourself killed before you end up doing anything. So, you know, don't do Giant Spy Club, basically. Like, I could have made this video a meme, like, this whole series a meme about how I'm not doing Giant Spy Clubs. And I kind of did in video one, but in reality, it's like, eh, whatever. It's just not good anyway. Alright, we drank the curing, and then we immediately got reconfused, and then we immediately got reconfused, and then I'm gonna summon a demon to try to get this shit away from me. It's fucking Tarantella, man. God, why? Why must Tarantellas have attack confuse on attack? It's just such a nightmare. <laughs> also, Spider is so fucking dark now as well. Like, everything in this game is so dark. What is this? Are we going into the new edgy era? Is this a reboot? Is this a gritty reboot? This better not be a gritty reboot. Like, Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup 2. It's just, like, Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, but with, like, 50% more darkness. They just upped the saturation on the game. <laughs> you know, like, in, in in modern games where it's like, oh, adjust the lighting until the logo's visible. They just they just turn that down to zero. They're just like, I, I don't want to see anything. This is so fucking dark. I can't see shit. Like, I actually can't see shit. I'm just guessing at stuff now. Like, Tarantellas are actually pretty hard to see now, at this point. Alright, uh... That is a Ghost Moth, and I believe he is next to us. Yep, he is absolutely next to us. And we are also going to be poisoned to death, so I'm going to go ahead and teleport. Alright, that was unfortunate. The Ghost Moths, I didn't really plan on being a huge threat to this character. Okay, so the Ghost Moth is right here. I could tell because it was hitting my Spectral Weapon, and I just guessed based on where he was lost. Oh man, we took a lot of stat drain from that. Holy shit, we lost fucking six in. Like, god, Ghost Moths are so obnoxious sometimes. Seriously. Oh, that's an Arc Road guy. Um, maybe I should wear the... The, uh, what do you call it? Maybe it would be wise for me to wear the Acid Dragon Scales in, Sp in Spider. Eh, nah, I'm too lazy. I'm just gonna go ahead and try to stab him to death. That usually works. Yeah, nice. Okay, we're getting a little bit of our stats back. Oh man, what a nightmare. Alright, see what this thing is. Ring of fire. Well, fire resistance isn't too bad, so I'm just going to keep it. But 
Eventually I want to get rid of that and put an actual fire resistance ring into my inventory. Ideally. We are on Spider 4 though. It might actually do me well to just go to Shoals now. But I think I can explore around until I see the Mega Vault and then I'll just run away from that place. Like if there are multiple Ghost Moths, I'll probably die. I can't fight them. Like at all. So, you know. I'll just try to be cautious, I think. Oh god. <sighs> Ugh. Fuck these Tarantellas, man. Serious. Oh, that's the end of the fucking level, really. I can't dig out. That's so unfortunate. I can't dig through the uh, extremities of the dungeon, unfortunately. Okay, well, that's fine. Just pop through here instead. Maybe there's something good. Okay. I'm gonna have to summon a couple of demons here. I'm pretty. I'm gonna get corroded soon, so I'm just gonna hop back for a sec. Maybe get a couple of free stabs. There we go. Nice. Like, polearms are so good with McLeb and also animate skeleton and such. Like, we can't animate skeleton here, but you know, it's good. Like, everything I've done here is pretty much synergizing with polearms, which is pretty cool. I like that. Like, none of it's intentional either. I'm just kind of picking stuff. I could have also gone hep. That would have been interesting as well. But I was like. I'm not sure how well HEP goes for Scalds, because you're not really getting any benefit for being HEP, other than, like, the fact that you just have a guy next to you, you know what I mean? Like, that's good, but is it really that good? Like, is it so good that it makes your Scald viable, is, is what I mean? Because Scalds on their own are very tough, they're very hard to get up, because they're kind of shit. Alright, this is my nightmare, Ghost Moths and Tarantellas. I knew there were ghost moths here, but I was just kind of trying to deny reality. Ow. <laughs> just why? Okay. Pull this guy up. I'm gonna get murdered here. I'm just gonna regen in this corner if I can. Stack regen. There we go. Nice. I don't want to go down there, but I'm gonna do it because I'm an idiot. Just let it happen, you know what I mean? Shout around this corner. Try to get the Tarantellas to come to me, if I can. Really, Tarantellas? You're that stupid? Come on, man. I'm right here. I'm not trying to be stealthy or anything. Just, just doing the job. Alright, we managed to kill him while confused. Thank goodness for that. That was very impressive. I wonder if these spiders are actually gendered. Like, there's no... like, Because cause you know ants have like the whole female workers... Sorry, bees and bees and ants, I believe. You got like the drones and like the males are like for reproductive, and there's like a queen ant and a queen bee. Except the same for spiders. Spiders are solitary creatures. I don't know why the spider's nest even exists. Because spiders should only be like one at a time, I'm pretty sure. It's not like there's one mega spider in the middle telling you what to do. I don't know how spiders work exactly. I haven't really like I don't study spiders. They're not my forte, but you know, I feel like they're solitary hunters. They're not really like broods. I feel like gaming and like video, video games and like like novels and such, fiction, have uh, have really painted spiders to be things they aren't. Though I might be wrong. You know, I could be very wrong. Maybe there is like spider infestations are real, I guess. But they tend to be like in warehouses and sheds. But maybe I'm just maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. Let's go to Shoals. Let's do it. Actually, wait. No, nope. yeah, let's do it. We've got plenty of time. Sweet. Gotta make sure, you know. Gotta make sure the video is not too long, because uploading will be annoying. Well, not really. Now that I have great internet, it's not that bad. But it's still kind of sad. Alright, we're getting our ass handed to us, because, you know, it shoals. Yay. Our defense means fuck or nothing in here. But we have Animate Skeleton now, which is really good, because it means that we can turn the dungeon against itself, which is, as I've always said, very good against shoals. Because Shoals... Shoals never expects you to be stronger than it. Or it never expects to have to fight itself. So if you're able to somehow turn Shoals against itself, it just explodes very quickly. It is not very good at dealing with, uh... itself. Sweet. Awesome. Again, like, things like Bribe, Animate Dead, can win you Shoals for free, which is kind of nice. <sighs> Regen's really low spell power. I might train some Necro, but... I think I'll turn Translocations off first. Okay, Invocations is definitely good enough. I'm going to turn that off for the time being, and I'm going to train more shields. No, I'm going to train a bit of armor. 
I'm also going to start picking up some summoning. Possibly. Uh, actually, what's the most efficient thing to pick up right now? Probably Necromancy. Necromancy will help me get my regen power up and will also get me Animate Skeleton down, spell failure-wise. Uh, and on top of that, it'll help me just... Um, it, it's a very cheap investment. Only like three or four levels will be needed to get this done. Which is ideal. Alright, McCleb healing. Keeps us fighting for longer. It's really good. Like, it's usually around this stage where McCleb is considered, like, really godlike. Because you just keep healing off stuff, and you feel like you are a lot more tanky than you should be. He's one of the few characters that give you back health. Like, he's one of the few things that give you back health. One of the few mechanics, I, I guess, that you can get health back from. Um, which makes him absurdly good as a god. But, you know, his lack of big panic buttons, I guess, are what hold him back somewhat. Alright, I just enchanted this glaive to plus 9 protect. I realize now that, like, it's very likely that I'll just be using this for a long time, so I might as well try it. Unless I get a demon trident here, in Shoals, then I'm just unlucky. But, you know, I probably should have done this earlier. I shouldn't have done this now, when I have the potential to find a demon trident um, on this very, like, branch. But it's fine. Not gonna, not gonna cry over it, it's okay. I think, like, regretting decisions makes players weaker. Because, like, they're, they're, they're too stuck up on thinking about... Uh, they're too stuck on, you know, what mistakes they've made, what decisions they've made. And then... Well, actually, no. How, how do I put this more, more nicely, I suppose? I think, I think it's important for you to get stuck on the big decisions, yes. But on the smaller decisions, like the ones that I'm making, it's not very important at all. Oh, that guy just disappeared from my sight. Oh, that was a rapey little, uh... Juggernaut there, fighting the Spriggan apparently. If you didn't see that art, that loading screen art, it's kind of, it's got a very odd vibe to it. Alright, let's just go ahead and grab demons. Alright, well, unfortunately the Kako demon was not happy to see me today, so I'm just gonna have to go and rest a couple of turns, then go back down. There's a Balrog, that's a much better ally to have. Balrogs are, like, probably not the strongest allies, but they're actually very strong in, indeed. They have a demon weapon or some decent weapon like that. Usually demon whips, I think. They also have, uh... I think, like... They actually have some pretty good shit. I forgot what they are. Balrog. It has... Yeah, it throws fireball and smite. So it's pretty good. I, I thought it was torment, but no, that's not torment. Uh, I don't know why I thought it was torment. I think I just missed... Like, my own brain just, like, had a fart and was like, what? No, it wasn't, it wasn't Torment, it was Smite, yeah, that makes more sense. I was like, what the fuck, how, I gave them, we gave them Torment? What? I don't remember this. Alright, cool. Uh, so our regen is now, same power, but it's 2% fail, and Animate Skeleton's 3% fail. I think I'll train one more level in Necro, and then I'll just turn it off. Necro doesn't have to go very high to make what I have good. I'm gonna drink a Potion of Flight just to reduce the damage in case he decides to shatter me. You motherfucker. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. He's gonna kill me, he's gonna kill me. What? Why? Why? Why are you like this? I don't have enough mana- Oh, why? How? How? Why? What? Why? How? Whoa, shit. What the fuck? Man, I'm gonna go berserk and- You motherfucker! What? What in the god shit fuck was that? Oh my god. Ah, oh. I didn't have- I didn't have my magic protection on. Oh, you never think about petrify. Fuck. Fucking dicks. God damn it. And the thing is, because I had spirit shield, um, I couldn't blink because I was out of mana, which is why I hate spirit shield. Like, I could have actually gotten out of that by just blinking, but I took so much damage when I fucking got... Though I probably would have died if I didn't have it. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Alright, well that sucks. That's the end of that video. I might end up not doing this again. Or maybe I will, but with Hep. I haven't really thought about it too well, but... Oh, that's so fucking depressing. Oh my god, you never think about Petrify. <laughs> I think also I had Spectral Weapon on, which caused me to take more damage. But that really just was bad. 
I actually don't know if Shatter hurts me because I was against a wall. Huh. Is that how that works? Also, the fear scroll, I didn't know that actually worked. I don't... I wonder if I could have too... I was like trying to run panic buttons because I had to do one turn panic buttons because if he decided to shatter again, I was just fucking dead. Uh, let me think. Yeah, I think the only thing I could have done was probably not get petrified. I think once I was in that position, I drank heal wounds, heal wounds, fear scroll, heal wounds, heal wounds, and then fear scroll, and then heal wounds, and then I died. Could I have drunk a magic potion? Would that have saved me? Spirit shield does save me. Yeah. Uh. But I think I was heal wounding on my last turn. No, no, no. I was berserk. No, no. See, the thing is, I need a berserk to get enough strength to break free of the net in one turn and kill him. But I just didn't kill him. I don't know why I didn't kill him. I thought I had so much damage that I could kill him. But even berserk, he didn't die in that last turn. He actually shattered before I killed him. I hit him like three times before he died. That was really depressing. That guy's name is Kunk Kunk Tato. That's really confusing. Okay. Anyway, uh, that's it for today. I'm really sad about that, but you know, it's one of those novel deaths, so I don't really care. Like, if, if it's like a, just a death to nothing, I'm pretty sad. But like, that's one of those deaths where you're like, ah, oh, he got paralyzed again. L U fucking L. Ah, oh, bring bring back petrification, boys. Replace replace all paralysis with petrification. I can't even complain about it because it is petrification, not paralysis. It was my fault. But like, fuck, that sucks. Anyway, until next time, everyone. See you all tomorrow. Probably, hopefully, Skullgirls. And then we might do something else. We'll, we'll see.